Okay, red triumph day. Yeah. He's wearing his red t-shirt. I, I actually wore this specifically because I knew we were going to be working on... <laughs> on red cars today? Yeah. Well, everything is red. Even wow. my ATV is red. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> Look at that baby. She's waiting. She's going to get some attention soon too. Anyway, TR4 red, TR6 red, another TR4 red, and the Speedfire red ready to go up in the air so yes finally it's time for the rusty beauty's garage to take care of their own car as you can see we brought her in and quickly i'll tell you what the issues were first of all for a long time i had a uh, very low oil pressure and i'm finally taking off the oil pan and replacing that uh, pump but also um again for a long time i have a uh, rattling on the timing chain like a big time it was every year it becomes worse and worse so finally i bought beat the bullet and i bought the conversion kit from single row chain to a double row chain and gears and all that so we're going to replace that and eventually i also have issues with uh, this transmission the transmission is uh, this is actually a different transmission than what i had I thought it was better than mine. I just swapped them, it didn't work very well. It keeps grinding in first gear. So I have another one that somebody donated, Frank. It's under there. Yeah, so it is from a later Spitfire and I was hoping that it was gonna be with a synchro on, on first gear. But again, it's with no synchro, but apparently it's a rebuilt transmission. And anyway, if we get there, I'll tell you what the problem with it is so i'm gonna have to work a little bit on it eventually and then swap it with my transmission in the car but we will see that might not happen today for today i want to change the oil pump and while i'm there i'm also gonna check my bearings and see what's going on and replace the timing mechanism and eventually do a little bit of tuning up because the car run like crap now i haven't driven it this season i just took it from storage a month ago and drove it for like literally five kilometers didn't drive very well at the time and now it is like just bad it's misfiring so it's gonna need some tune up as well so without further ado let's get crack -a locking in the meantime david is gonna do some work here on this car but he's gonna have a separate video of that i believe so we lost the air horn we lost the air horn <laughs> I took it for a test drive and the air horn flew off. Yeah, somehow the tabs are not the the right ones. The tabs yeah. are not tabbing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get crack locking. Okay, so the car is in the air and I already drained the oil. And I was just telling David that if I haven't seen this done in video, actually Steve Denton replaced his uh, oil pump on his Spitfire and that gave me the confidence that <laughs> the oil pump can be removed without taking the engine off. But look at this cross member here. I would think that it's not possible. Look where the front end of the oil pan is, but apparently you can drop the rear end and slide it out. So that's what i'm gonna do next all right so the oil pan is out it wasn't that hard but i think that's gonna be a short video unfortunately like i said i was hearing all kinds of noises i was sure that the chain is bad like it needs to be replaced but i was also hearing a road knock and i wasn't 100 percent sure but now i am look at that That's a big end play here on the connecting road. That's number four. And number one is the same. Uh, not so much for number two and three for whatever reason. Or maybe I can't just do it, but you know what? That's a deal breaker for the repair today. What we want to do. So another engine that needs to come out and be rebuilt still dripping on me 
So I rebuilt this engine seven years ago when I was restoring the car, but it wasn't really a rebuild because I measured it at the time and everything was within tolerance. So I only replaced uh, the rings and all the bearings and gaskets and seals and that was it. Well, somehow, from the very beginning I didn't have good oil pressure and I think maybe the oil pump wasn't good or maybe I didn't measure properly at the time and I had bigger tolerances than what I thought I did but it was one of my first engine rebuilds so maybe I was wrong I have no idea oh my god it keeps dripping on me so unfortunately I'm not gonna continue with this engine for now I have way too many things to do do uh, including a tr3 engine that i want to rebuild for my tr4 so i think i'm just gonna put it to the side and i'm gonna wait for the winter eventually it's gonna be a winter project when we're gonna rebuild that transmission as well that is waiting for it we're gonna rebuild this engine i can't have like thousands of engines taken apart so let me focus on the tr4 put that on the road on the road so I can have a drivable car and this one I'm gonna put together so I can keep driving it around the yard here back and forth because I keep moving it but okay yeah. so just out of curiosity I took out one this is number four connecting road cap and look how bad this is scored and even the crank that it doesn't look too bad but but it feels really bad with my fingernails so yeah this engine needs to come out we're done for today <laughs> on it <laughs> all right the oil pan is back on to be honest i just poured the same old oil in it i just need something in it to be able to drive it from here to the shed and if i need to move it around the yard so it's actually from last year this oil it's not too bad so anyway i didn't want to put new oil just to drain it in a few months when i'm uh, rebuilding this engine so back on the floor and back in the shed unfortunately she's not going to be on the road this summer isn't that disappointing? Anyway, instead, we're gonna try to focus on that girl over there and make her drive around. In the meantime, luckily, David is happy to lend me this one in case I need a car. So I'm gonna drive it a little bit for him. I'm gonna give him this favor. I'm oh, gonna- we gotta break the car in, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna focus on the TR6, the 70 TR6, we want to finish that, of course, and I want to finish, or not finish, but just put this one back on the road. I still dedicated this day for the Rusty Beauties, for my own Rusty Beauties, so what's going to happen next is I'm going to pull out this engine from under here. Well, you know what? And, well, we talked about being a red day, right? Yeah. So, it's red. Yeah, a red engine. Yeah. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna strip it and see what that needs because we wanna rebuild this one and put it in the TR4, but that's gonna be another video. So thank you for watching. Unfortunately, another not happy ending video. And <laughs> it's, uh, it is what it is. It's a short one. Stay tuned for more videos on the Spitfire on David's channel as well. He's gonna show you what he did with this car on his Webers and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.